Um, so since the end of summer, we were starting to be a lot more preoccupied about the refugee crisis that was happening in Europe. So with three of my friends, we came up with SofaStash. The idea is to allow people to make small donations to NGOs without having to actually give their own money. All they need to do is watch a small advertising, and the company diffusing this advertising will make a donation for every view on this video. With our solution, we are solving three problems. First, <coughs> users. 18 to 29 years old people account for 4% of all dollars. This is why, with Sofastosh, we want to propose them a solution where they don't have to give money, but they just give a little bit of their time. Secondly, companies. Large corporations donated over 2 billion euros last year to NGOs in France. But the benefit <coughs> they got from these actions is very small. Um, they actually use classical communication channels, so with Sofastosh, we want to help them improve their social image by diffusing advertisement of their social actions. Finally, for NGOs, we are providing them a new fundraising channel. So, um, Sofastosh allows people, is a website that allows people to make donations simply by watching advertising. So we have two direct competitors in France, but we implemented some key concepts in our idea that makes us confident on our ability to outfront them. First of all, our main challenge is going to be user retention. Why? Because people don't want to come every day on a website to watch an advertising. That's why we implemented several gamification techniques, such as short time challenges to increase the call to action and personal profile to increase our customer repeat rate. Secondly, we focus exclusively on CSR communication. Why? Because that's where large companies really lack the proper content, the good channel, to target people that are concerned about those issues. Our business model is relatively simple. First, the company pays us a fixed fee of 500 euros to diffuse the advertisement on our website for one week. And then they pay a variable amount of 50 cents per view depending on the success of their campaign. We take a 25% commission out of this revenue, and the rest of the money goes to NGOs. Since in France, donations to NGOs are de deductible taxes at a 60% rate, they actually pay an average amount of 30 cents per year. Our competitors today charge 1.2 euros to the companies, which make us four times cheaper. That's why we are pretty convinced that companies will be willing to pay four times less for a better solution. So we were born during We Start Social, which is a startup competition weekend that we won. And thanks to this, we were incubated in EIE, which helped us develop several prototypes. So we started by launching an advertising video on our Facebook page that reached 1,000 views in a week. And funny enough, actually, our main competitor in France copied us 10 days afterwards, which showed us that we were really onto something. Uh, in terms of company validation, we have several meetings with big companies in France, including uh, Schneider Electric in January. And we have already two paying customers, which is Omniscience, which is a French cosmetic company, and a small design shop in Madrid. Our next step for January 2016, when we go back to France, is to first la launch a crowdfunding campaign, uh, and we want to reach 5,000 euros, and then the four of us in our team we want to invest a total amount of 10,000 euros. So what will we do with these 15,000 euros? First, we will register the company in France. Then we will develop a sophisticated website. And then all the money will be used to finance our growth for the first year. So last but not least, our team. So I'm with Eloise, who's a designer specialized in user experience. And she already worked in Shanghai and San Francisco. Uh, Remy and myself are both business students. <laughs> We've worked in online advertising and several startups, and we also have experience in social businesses. And finally, Zineb uh, was a sales manager on financial markets for five years, and will use her experience in B2B business development to sign contracts with large companies in France. Thank you very much. Well, uh, any questions here? Hi.